Oh, yes. Yeah. There's a crappy. Finally. I mean, I've never seen a crappy jump. That was weird. What the hell is that? Hello, Double O Crew. Welcome to Obsession Outdoors. Out here today with my man, Hook Junkie. What up? He's out here again. It is super windy, so uh, pre-apologies for the audio quality. The wind is horrendous today, but temperatures are right, so we gotta get out here while the fish are biting. I'm going for panfish. All I've fished for so far this year is trout, other than the one, di uh, one day me and Dean fished for bass and crappy in that pond but it was too cold so let's see if my man hook junkie here has put us on our diamond spot planning to leave with some fillets so let's see if we can make it happen <laughs> all right guys hook junkie's dad is on you've probably seen him in last year's yellow perch video that was quick looks like it's gonna be a good day i got a free bobber yeah, that's my bobber i lost it yesterday. is it yeah. all right well i got you your bobber back then Nice. Hook Junkie's on, guys. Awesome. And I got his bobber back for him from yesterday. He said he broke it off. Your jig, too? Oh, shit, for real? Yeah. Nice. Uh, there you go, yeah. I don't, let me get mine untangled from it. Okay. This cast, I'm catching a fish. It's going to be a crappy. Watch me. Tiny little guy, man. Teeny tiny little guy. <laughs> but that's a crappy though. Yeah, yeah. That's a fish tank size. All right, guys, I told you. <laughs> Not exactly what I'm looking for here, but. Does it? Oh, yeah, it's swimming out. It's swimming out. Grab it. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, Hook, Hook Junkie just got a bobber off a tree and it had a crappie attached to it. That's crazy. I brought a out here. Oh, yeah? Oh, this is where you guys came. Okay. I'm going to go down and try just above this brush pile. Try this for a few more minutes. If it don't produce a bite, at least, I'm switching back to worms for bluegills. The wood in the water? Yeah. I was looking at the same spot. Right now, little Yeah. I think we should try that after we are done in this spot. That'll be good for bluegills, I think, right in there. That calm pocket. Here we go. I got one too. Set the hook hard. There we go. You ain't getting off. <laughs> right? <laughs> no. heard, heard the drag set on the hook. You know it's a good hook set. Yeah. Nice bluegill, man. Look at that. That's nice. Whoo wee. <laughs> Heck yes. That's what I came here for. Well, guys, we found the big bluegills. Come on. Looks like another nice one. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going. Oh, yeah. Awesome. First time using a net. Awesome. Here we go. Zooming to the side. I said he's zooming to the side. <laughs> nice one. Still not as big as that one you lost, but still a nice one for sure. I mean, where can you go to catch bluegill like this consistently? Look at that. Right. That's a beast. Double go. up. Awesome. Ah, here we go again. Double O crew doubling it up, baby. <laughs> nice. That's a nice fish or... Yeah, I, I don't, like... Oh yeah, another nice one. Sheesh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Well, nice. 
Heck yeah. The bite's a little slow. You know, you're waiting a, a while in between each bite, but yeah. when you catch them, they're quality fish. So I am not complaining. Right. I'd rather have a slow bite and catch stuff like this than fast bite with little guys. That is a tank of a bluegill right there. <laughs> right. Look at that thing. There right. you go. Uh, Got it. Heck yes. Is my bobber gone? Uh, yep, it's gone. Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't find it. I was like, what the heck? I only looked away for a split second. Yeah, because once you... Uh... Man, these little guys fight hard. That's so cool. Look away or whatever, and then look back. You're like, oh shit, where'd it go? Yeah, I'll throw this one back. He's a little smaller than the rest. Unless he's gonna die. Which he might, because he had it for a while. Oh no, he'll be fine. It's just right on top of the jaw. There you go. Do you think it's the See ya. Camera died halfway through that fight. But as you see, another tank of a bluegill. I mean, these are crappy sized bluegill. To put it in perspective. <laughs> I got three more spots on the stringer. I'm gonna throw this one back. Because I'm pretty sure... Hook Junkie has three more crappy for me by now. So I'm gonna save those stringer spots for the crappy. And let these bluegill go, unless I catch a true giant. Yeah, ever since we lost our live minnows, the crappy bite just shut off completely. But these bluegill are super fun. Try way out there and see what happens. No way. All the way out there, huh? Oh, feels like a nice one. Unless he's just fighting uh, hard. It's always so hard to tell with bluegill because yeah. the little ones will fight like Mike Tyson and then some of the big ones are just, hey, double up, let's go. <laughs> yeah, this is a nice one. Oh, damn. Got a nice one? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. This one's got flatworm parasites, so he's definitely getting thrown back. Fishing in the rain. Boom, see ya. Cool, cool, cool. This is too fun. This feels like the nicest bluegill I've had on all day. And it's probably not, because bluegill are deceiving with the way they fight. Yeah, he's just a crazy hard fighter. <laughs> but he is nice. Definitely nice. Actually, no, it probably is the best, biggest one of the day for me. If not tied with it. These peck fins on these things are so long. Big flourished. All right, guys, just in case this is the end of the video, because I don't know how this uh, screen is going to do with all this water getting on it. Huge shout out to Hook Junkie. Check out his channel. I'll leave his link in the description. Yeah, I, I've been wanting to find big, nice bluegills like this for a long time, so I'm super happy he showed us this spot. Can't be thankful enough. Started, started off a slow day trying to catch the crappie, but I figured them out a little bit, but then ran out of bait, caught a few, and then we hammered these bluegills <laughs> and are still doing so. So until next time, get out there, enjoy the outdoors. Peace. I'm going to just keep letting it roll just in case we catch something crazy. A good technique for crappie with a jig with the bobber is you just forget about the jig underneath of it and just work your bobber across the top like a bass lure. Like you're walking the dog with a stick bait. Right, right. And that gives the uh, jig beneath it some crazy erratic action. And the rain stopped, the wind stopped, and the bite turned off. <laughs> oh, oh. Yes. yes. There's a crappy. Finally. Wow. Right on your uh... Wait, I've never seen a crappy jump. That was weird. Is that a crappy? I don't know. It's not fighting like one. What the hell is that? It's a trout. Nope. <laughs> No way. Okay. <laughs> what? No, I was going to say, I've never seen a crappy jump. But, all right. That works. <laughs> Pretty cool. Oh, See you, buddy. Awesome. Hell yeah. That made my day. <laughs>